Hello everybody, it's Dez, back to talk to you about knots this evening. Um, and the next knot um, we're going to talk about is the cleat hitch. So earlier this evening we talked about different ways to tie up um, a boat, to tie a rope to a post or a pillar or a fixed object, you know, which is obviously useful when you have a, a, fixed, a fixed line or a fixed post you want to tie the boat to. However, um, at a lot of docks, what you will see is a thing called a cleat. Now I have an example here, and this is obviously just one from B&Q, a little simple cleat used for a used for a, a curtain cord or um, for for your for your washing line. Um, but you know the cleat is essentially a, a, normally a metal fixing to the dock, and with two horns that come off it um, and a dip in the middle a lot of the time, but not always. They can be straight across that you can then tie up to. And it's a really useful and quick way to tie up to um, <clears throat> because you don't actually need to know any clever, fancy knots or quick release hooks or anything like that. Um, it's just very obvious the way you should do it. But it's amazing how many, how much of the time that people get this wrong. So let's talk about how to tie up the boat to a cleat um, when you need to. And the first thing is this side of the rope here um, is going to be our bit heading towards the boat. So the first thing you do is bring this up beside the actual cleat itself and get a turn in on the cleat, just like that. That's the first thing to do because that instantly has given whoever's in the dock holding that rope control of the boat. If you're holding the rope like that and it's a, 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 a powered boat, a motor boat, or even, you know, even <clears throat> um, one of the um, uh, a Cornish pilot gig, a little bit of power in that boat, a little bit of power from the current, and this rope gets pulled on and you're holding it tight, you're going in the organ. You will be in the sea, um, you'll be in the river, you'll get wet. But if you take the rope round like that, once round like that, you've got friction here, along here, and here in that rope. This is going nowhere. You could hold New Haven Ferry if you've got this rope round the cleat like that, and you could start it pulling away. Maybe not New Haven Ferry, but you could def definitely hold um, uh, Grace O'Malley um, in place with just the friction through that cleat like that. That allows you to then adjust this rope to let a bit out as, as the bow comes in or out to pull the stern in as you need to depending uh, if the boat is in moored and in position correctly and you've got control over that and, and, it, and it's usable control. So from there then you're going to wrap the rope around the, the, the horn and take it to the back and then you're going to pass it to the front. You're going to make a loop and you make that loop just by twisting it under and away from you, loop it over the horn and pull it tight. And it is as simple as that. Um, people think, well, I need to put more loops on, many more loops. But when you count this, you've got one, two, three, four different points of friction in this rope onto this, um, onto this cleat. If not more, if you've got another two, three, four, you know, you've got six, eight points of friction onto this cleat holding the boat in place. There are two reasons why you might want to put more turns on so instead of putting this loop on one is if you've got a huge tail of rope and you've got a big cleat well it's quite an easy way just to tidy up um, the rope itself is just to carry on putting the turns on and um, to this and that'll tidy up that, that that loose end but it's going to take you longer to untie um <clears throat> And the second one is because people don't understand knots and they think, actually, the more I get on here, the stronger it's going to be. Yes, it's going to be marginally stronger, but not significantly more so than the actual um, than the actual friction you've got in the knot here. So let's go back and look at that one more time. We're untying our boat, we're ready to launch. We've got that friction back on. The cock says, yeah, we're good to go, throw that in. You can take it off, throw it into the boat. Away we go. Um, we're out, we're rowing, you're the first person on the dock, you've grabbed the rope, you jump onto the dock, and you come up to the cleat, you go round the cleat once, and, and over the horn, and you've got all the friction you need in the rope there to hold the boat in place, and it's controllable friction to let the boat in and, and, and out. You wrap around the next horn, take it to the back, <clears throat> make a loop, and I'm, you can see I'm making that loop by turning it towards the side, and it's going to come round, and then you pull it tight. And that is as tight and secure as the boat will ever will ever get or will need to be. Last thing then, if you've got a small tail, just a small tail of rope, um, then all you can need to do with that is wrap it around the actual, wrap it around the um, the outside um, of the cleat like that to keep it neat and tidy out of the way. And if you've got a longer tail as we discussed before, you can coil that and leave that neat and tidy and coiled uh, beside the actual cleat itself. Nice, easy, simple knot, 
one that's surprising how many people how many people get wrong particularly this last little bit here the way to tie off and finish that knot to give you the friction um, in place to hold it in place so it's definitely one that when you when you get to a when you get to a cleat on, on the dock side have a little practice and one of the things that can take a little bit of time to get right is which way to twist to give you that loop to put the final locking loop in in, in place so that is the cleat hitch handy knot at the at the dock and definitely one that every boat owner should should know and again as you walk down um, the pontoon uh, in, in, in the coming weeks to go and check and grace or, or go out for a row have a look as you go along um, and you won't see any of these type of hooks i think on the denton pontoon but you'll see cleats on the um, you'll see cleats on the boats um on the, the boats as you're walking along have a look to see how people have tied off their 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 ropes um, to the cleats on those boats um, and just form an opinion of well does it look good does it look clean does it look neat can you see how it's useful and usable and and, and, and good not that's it for the cleat hitch thanks very much guys hopefully speak to you in a little bit good night